<coughs> Good morning. It is 9.15 a.m. And I am here for my hearing test today. My appointment is at 10 o'clock. I got here very early. It's only 9.15. So I have quite a lot of weight. Um, and I just wanted to talk about how important this is for me. Um, here I'm set hat off and brush my hair out know, for a sec. Ooh. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry that the camera is crooked, but this is the only way I can set it up where it would actually show my face and not just my forehead or my chin or my shirt or <laughs> stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so... About, I would say over a year ago, I decided to have a hearing test done because I noticed my hearing was getting worse. I was having a harder time hearing people and being able to understand what someone was saying, even if they're sitting right next to me. So, I had a hearing test done. And they said, your hearing is bad, and you're at the point now where you need, you need hearing aids. It's not like an optional Sunday thing. You need hearing aids soon, like now. And it didn't throw me into a depression, but it did really discourage me because... At that point, I hadn't, I hadn't even turned 50 yet, and I was like, I, I felt like I was too young to have this problem this soon. My dad has had hearing loss for a long time, but he worked in a factory where there was a lot of very loud machinery and, and high-pitched noises and <coughs> loud buzzing and things like that. He worked in a, in a big factory, and so even though he wore hearing protection, he was still affected by that. And his hearing was damaged by that because of that. And so, I thought that's that's not the same thing. <laughs> I feel like, you know, the reason why he, lost his, why he lost a good amount of his hearing so young is because he spent all those years working in the factory. I haven't had that issue. I'm not working anywhere. So, I was, felt very discouraged and thought, I, I don't want to be 50 years old with a hearing aid. I don't want to, but... <clears throat> my, I went, I, I was like, okay, I went to that first hearing test, and we told them, you need to have hearing aids, and they, they said, we can show you what hearing aids we have, we can show you what your options are, what your insurance will cover, not cover, that kind of thing, and I said, well, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to my dad first, and see, because my dad has an amazing, amazing hearing aid doctor that he goes to, so I decided to go to the guy that my dad goes to, because again, my dad just raised about him. And my dad never raised about anybody. So, set up an appointment to see him. My dad went, went, with, went with me to the appointment, and he, um, we did the hearing test, and he said, you need hearing aids, but the problem is, my insurance would not work with him at all. My insurance would not cover anything. And I found out later on, there's only one, there's only a, a very select number of hearing aid places that will actually work with my insurance. The first two I went to, the one I went to on my own, the one I went to with my dad, none of those were, were places that were accepted. So I'm like, okay. So I realized, I'm, I'm, I was like, okay, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get this addressed and get the hearing aids I need, sorry for the sun blinding you. I don't know if I do anything about that or not. <coughs> There you go. Maybe I'll help. If I'm going to get this issue addressed and get the help I need, I need to go through my insurance and go through the place they suggest. 
So I called them. I've been dragging my feet about it for a while because I just, I just, um, I'm not looking forward to having something stuck in my ear all the time, in my ears all the time. But I'm tired of not being able to hear people. I'm not. I'm tired of not being able to hear things. And so I call my insurance company and say, okay, what place? Do I need to go to that is in, in network and work with you guys? And they said, this is a place, it's the nearest place to use, this place right here. Gave me the address. I, they transferred me to that, to that office. I, I set up an appointment with them. And that appointment is today. One thing my dad said, it just made me bawl my eyes out. He wasn't mean it to do that, but it did. He said, until you get hearing aids, you have no idea how much you're missing out on. And at the time he told me, I didn't break down and cry, but as I, when I got home, I just lost it. Because I'm like, he's right. I'm missing so much. When someone tries to whisper to me, they may as well not be talking at all because I can't hear them at all. If I'm in a room with, with 10, 20 people and they're all talking amongst themselves, I can't hear the person next to me. And it's very lonely. It's very, and I'm not trying to be overdramatic or whiny. I swear to God, I'm not. But it's very lonely. And I'm tired of that. Supposedly, as soon as my hearing test is done today... They'll be able to talk to me about my hear about the hearing aids and what they, what my insurance covers, how much my insurance covers, how much I'll have to pay out of pocket. My dad and Lois say no. How important? How this is like a necessary, a necessary thing that I need. It's not just a impulse purchase. It's not just a I'm <laughs> I wouldn't get hearing aids just for fun. <laughs> you know, they my dad knows this is a serious necessary thing and he has graciously offered to try to help pay some of the out-of-pocket expense if there is any which i'm sure there will be um and hearing aids are are so expensive they're insanely insanely pricey now and so i'm uh yeah, i'm gonna drink so this is a very emotional appointment for me and I would love I would love nothing more than to leave here today with hearing aids but it's not how it works <laughs> that's not how it works <laughs> these have to me they have to have time to like you know order them to fit your ear and stuff like that so it's not gonna happen today but 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 I miss I was told that today I would find out about the hearing aids, which ones I qualify for, which ones were covered, which ones were only partially covered, um, that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that's that's the case. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's a very emotional appointment for me. I doubt I'll get emotional while I'm in the, while I'm in the office, but but I think when I get out to the car, I might I might have a hard time because this has been. Over a year, year and a half of just feeling very alone in the world. And again, I'm not trying to sound over dramatic. I'm not trying to sound like I'm, like I'm whining or poor me. That's not the point of this whole thing. I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on this appointment. And so, I don't know if, I don't know if I'll add to this video or not. If I'll talk about what they said and what I found out. Um, I, do know, I, do know, but I do know that my hearing is bad enough that I require hearing aids. So, <coughs> so I have about 35 minutes before my appointment. I got here way early. By the way, I want to just let you know, um, in case you don't know, because I, I go to, when I, whenever I can afford to go out to eat, I will go to, to, uh, usually either Wendy's or Taco Bell. If I can afford Wendy's, I'll go to Wendy's. Um, Wendy's has a cool rewards program, and every time you order if you order your food through the Wendy's app on your smartphone you get a number of like reward points 
and as those points add up, you can get free food with it. So, um, today I was able to go to Wendy's. I had been, I had gone there when I got, when I first got paid, and I got there again, like, a week or two ago. And so, I had accrued enough points to be able to get free, um, potatoes with my breakfast sandwich today. So, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's kind of a cool thing. So, if you put the, uh, the Wendy's app on your smartphone and you order your food through the app, then you will earn reward points for every item that you order, I think. And the more points you, you, you accrue, the more free food you can get. So, I think I have, like, um, I, but I used them today, I think I'll show you, I, I got a breakfast sandwich and the potatoes were free because I had enough reward points for them. I wasn't able to finish them all, so I'm going to take them home and we can later on, but these are the potatoes here. That's a really good angle there. You can't see them, can you? These are the potatoes. And so, there's four or five of them in here. But these were absolutely 100% free for me today because I had the point. So, yeah, if you guys like, if you like Wendy's food, you go to Wendy's frequently enough, you know what I mean? And, and by all means, get the app, put it on your phone, and, and uh, Order your food through the app and pay through the app, and you'll get reward points. And over time, depending on how often you go there, you'll be able to get some free food. I, I think I have, I still have enough points I can get like a, a free small frosty or a free small cup of coffee, um, and something else I can get. Oh, free a free six pack of um, chicken McNuggets. Six count chicken McNuggets. So, yeah, not chicken McNuggets. That's my doll ones. Oh my god. <laughs> A free six pack of chicken nuggets. So, um, I still have enough points to get any of those items if I want them. So, but yeah, um, this is going to be an emotional day for me. Um, it's just, uh, it's a very lonely, isolated world that I live in right now. And I'm so ready for that to change. And I'm so ready to be able to hear better. I remember my mom, I remember my mom first got her hearing aids. She had heard birds chirping and just broke down and started bawling because she hadn't had her birds chirping for years. And she's like, I can hear the birds. I can hear the birds singing. The birds are singing. And she's tears flowing down her face. I remember just the huge, huge difference it made to her. And I'm just, I'm ready for that. So, I might, I'll probably update you when I come back out, depending on how things go, but, um, yeah, it's awful long enough. I'm going to go ahead and go, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so, I just finished with my hearing appointment, and, um, she looked in my ears. I had a little bit of, I seem to have, like, excess earwax buildup, like, beyond what's normal, <laughs> so... She had to take some of that gross stuff out of my ears before she did the hearing test. And she did the hearing test. She said, you have, you have moderate hearing loss in both ears. She said, one ear is slightly better than the other, but not by much. She said, you, you really do need hearing aids. It's not like an optional thing. You have to have them. I'm like, I was like, thank you, God. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, thank you, God, that she can confirm what I already knew. That she agreed with that. Thank you for that. So, she said, she said, let me look at your insurance and see. She did go ahead and go over the hearing aids with, with me. And so, we found a good option for me. It's not, it won't help me like a whole lot, but it'll be better than my having nothing. Um, so, uh, I, uh, whew, she has my breath. <laughs> so, we looked at hearing aid options and chose my insurance to what would be covered, not covered. And, she found a hearing aid that would be very discreet for me to wear and it has rechargeable batteries, has like a three year like warranty on it on them and um, I said, Okay, well how much out of pocket is that? She said zero. I'm like, Really? Well let's do that. So she said I'd probably benefit a lot more from going to the next higher level, but that would require a what she say, six hundred dollar out-of-pocket payment and even though my dad has agreed to pay the out-of-pocket amount I don't want to I don't want to put that pressure on him I know he's having a hard time financially right now and I don't want to add to that burden 
So I told her, I said, I, said, I feel like I feel like even having the the one that's you know cost to me would help me more substantially than not having anything. She said, Oh yeah, it will. It'll make a huge difference for you. I'm like, let's just do that then. Let's just go with those. She's given a 45 day a 45 day trial. So if you if you if you, if you get them and they don't work for you and you still can't hear very well and you're still having problems, you can come back in, bring them back in with you, and we can move up to the next higher level of, of your hearing aid. And you can have your 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 family member pay you out of pocket. So I'm like, okay. So um, it went well. Um, it was a huge validation of what I had heard and been told before, which is I do need hearing aids. And she she even told me I was not aware of this at all. She said um, when she asked me about the hearing test I had done before, and I told her, and she said. Okay, she said, you're talking very loudly, and that's definitely a sign that you can't hear well. I'm like, I'm talking loudly? She's like, yeah, you're, you're, you're talking quite high, quite loud right now. I'm like, I didn't know. She said, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to make you so conscious. I'm like, no, it's, but I didn't even know I was talking loudly. And she said, people that have hearing loss either talk super softly because they're not sure how loud they're actually speaking, or they'll be talking very loudly. And she said, that's usually two common reactions not being able to hear very well. I'm like... Oh my god, I didn't even know I was like talking above. Because <laughs> when I'm talking like right now, it sounds like just a normal speaking voice, no, no extra volume. But apparently, I'm, I'm talking very loudly. So, so she said it'll take about two, she didn't put the order in today. It'll take about two weeks for them to come in. Once they come in, she'll call me and schedule the uh, fitting to see if it fits them to my ears, make sure they fit okay, make sure they work okay, make sure I can you know, use them okay, uh, teach me how to recharge them, all that kind of stuff. So, um, it was a good appointment. I'm glad that she gave me, the, I'm glad that she went right from the hearing test to, okay, let's look at hearing aids for you. Let's get you set up a hearing aids right away. So, I love that she had that attitude and she's very sweet and it went well. So, I'm going to go ahead and head home now. So, um, I'm just, I'm happy because in two weeks I'll be able to probably hear a lot better than I have up until now. And if they don't work well enough for me, I can come back and get the next higher level and talk to my dad about the out-of-pocket amount. So, but she's going to order in today, she says. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for providing for me. I appreciate this. I will not take this for granted. I swear to be able to hear people and hear things and and will just it will just change my world. Thank you so much, God. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and go. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.